What's up guys? John Spear Warhammer. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hey, today I want to show you guys what I got cooking in my Beto pack. It's a little bit of an update from um, first year apprentice type of tools. Um, these are the tools I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I've upgraded since uh, the first couple of videos. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I got. So... I believe this should take care of most of what you're cooking. So, um, I got the TP4. I'm a service electrician, so let me start there. So, I don't really carry around um, the bags or whatnot. Just kind of carry around this little guy and then my backpack every once in a while. Um, so, I'm going to kind of show you the tools one by one and, you know, hopefully you guys like them and let me know in the comments if, uh, you know what you guys like because these are my personal favorites and you know but i always like to see what people think so you know anything you guys got let me know so the first thing on our list is the knipix um like combo stripper mini linesman wrench just all around combo forged steel strippers um they are pretty slick they go from 10 to 16 on this bad boy. Um, they cut MC like like a dog, man. Awesome. Um, absolutely love them. They can cut the 832 and the 632. Um, you, the cool thing about these is you don't got to twist them in. You just slide it in, cut it, call it good. Um, it's got a couple of little features like a little wire twister and stuff like that. Um, Pretty universal tool, very cool, highly suggested. Next on our list are the dikes or diagonal side cutters, whatever you prefer calling them. This one's a twin force, if you can see this little guy right here. It's also on the opposite side. Um, they cut extremely well, extremely easy. I got the shorter ones just because, you know, they fit better in my bag like them really good stuff uh next on our list needle nose i got the weha needle nose um the chrome finish insulated um i usually use the needle nose for a little bit of hot work so it works out good um let's see got here is a pair of linesmen awesome knipix as well as you can tell huge knipix fan huge uh weha fan huge wera fan i kind of went all german um, on this next batch of stuff so now i'm going with the all around awesomeness these things are cool really awesome this is mr lucas say hi lucas hi. <laughs> he likes to likes to join in on the videos every once in a while. Um, got the Wera screwdriver number two. What's really neat about these, I don't know if you can tell, but they have laser engraved um, tips, so you can stick the screw on there, and it's real super simple. Um, all right, what else we got here? Number two, Wera screwdriver. I do love the handles on these, and it is fun that they are insulated. Very cool. That they're insulated. You know, that's always convenient being a service electrician because you always messing around with that kind of stuff. And then, last but not least, for the standard hand tool, is going to be a laser engraved stainless steel. Beha, you can always kind of tell, like the the yellow hand, the yellow with the red means insulated, and you know normal tip, the baby blue handles mean stainless steel. Um, obviously everything is in like that kind of thing, meaning five inch number five. So the cool thing about Weha and Wera is they both test their tools at 10,000 volts 
to ensure that they get the 1000 volt rating. Pretty neat fun fact. Um, I got this little guy, I picked it up about a year ago. It's the Pika pencil. It, you know, when you're doing little holes in boxes and stuff like that, it comes in real handy. And it comes with a little sharpener. Um, super awesome. Clips on, really nice. Um, one of the cool features about it is it kind of does this little number. So the cap will kind of stay in there. You know, and you can take the pencil out. It's mechanical. Um, the only thing is you have to buy the Pika pencil inserts. But other than that, it's an awesome product. Um, next on my list is going to be the multi-tool. This one's an insulated Weeha. Um, really cool little thing. All the bits kind of stay in here. Can move it around because that is pretty awesome and then obviously has a you know a quarter inch little thing slides right back in completely insulated completely awesome all right level i'm a stabila fan i like this one in particular because this little guy is movable you know to whatever degree you want you know classic german ingenuity awesome stabila another great product like I said, pretty much went completely German on this. When I first started this, it was all Klein or all nothing, you know. So to have this kind of set, you know, is pretty slick. And, uh, you know, I've been very fortunate to have this set of tools with me full time. Um, the bag, I'm not sure if I said it, but it is a Veto TP4. Um, the only... Only thing, um, I got one of these and the rest of my guys got them and got hella jealous because they got the, the TP5B, which means plastic bottom. That's what the B stands for. Um, if I had to make any suggestion, get the TP5B. That is, that's the one. Um, that means it has five holes up here. You know for your standard tools it's cool it's a little bit bigger has a place to put your tape measure um, that's the only thing but other than that this thing has been phenomenal love the handle it does come with like little clippies right here where you can put your tape and stuff like that perfect for a service electrician um, thank you guys for watching once again my name is John Spear I'm with Warhammer um, please like subscribe do everything, you know, every little bit helps, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, means more than you'll ever know. So, uh, you know, one thing I always like to preach is, uh, you know, do a good job for the next guy in line, you know, because you never know. That might be you. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.